Did you know that the human brain receives about 11 million pieces of information every second from our environment, but can only process about 40 bits per second? Hey, I'm Dr. Dave, and on today's Thrive in 5, I'll share some cool neuroscience tips to retrain our brain when it comes to stress, including the power of visualizing finger curls. <laughs> Before we begin, take a second and subscribe so you don't miss other videos and tips I'm sharing. Okay, let's jump right in. Every single one of us experiences stress in our lives, and the crazy part is that stress tends to hijack the thinking part of our brain up front, and we switch to the reactive stress mode in the back with an increased heart rate and breathing. All of this narrows our perspective, which kills creativity. We turn inward and have a tough time having compassion and seeing things from others' point of view. In other words, stress affects our thoughts, emotions, and behaviors in pretty drastic ways. So the message most of us have received about stress is that stress is deadly. In fact, it's linked to the six leading causes of death. It negatively affects most of the organs in the human body, and 70 to 90% of doctor visits are due to stress-related issues. Just hearing all this can create more stress, right? But hold on, not all stress is created equal. Science shows that some stress can actually be helpful. Moderate amounts of stress gets our brains moving and motivates us to get things done. For example, you find out some out-of-town guests are coming to visit in about an hour, stress kicks in and you work pretty fast to get the house cleaned up, right? The research also shows that some stress can be helpful as it creates greater mental toughness, deeper relationships, increased awareness, new perspectives, a better appreciation of life, greater meaning, and strengthened priorities. So it's important to step back and recognize that some stress can improve your productivity as a person and as a parent. The key is learning to pay attention to our body's stress signals and view it as a challenge instead of as a threat. Even slowing down and learning to think about the meaning behind the stress, because all stress has meaning or it wouldn't be stressful. But how do we learn to view things differently? Well, I'm glad you asked. Science shows that our brain receives about 11 million pieces of information every second from our environment, but we can only process about 40 bits per second. So we have to choose what to focus on and what to dismiss or ignore. But we're wired to focus on threats. So our reality and the stress we experience is basically only as stressful as we think it is. So the more that we keep worrying about it and stewing about it, the more stressed out we become. So I can think about the negatives with my 40 bits per second or choose to think about more positives around me. The brain is pretty amazing actually. Here's a little experiment some researchers did to show the power of the brain on the body. First, hold out your finger and do this. Pretty simple, right? It's a finger curl. Well, there were three groups of volunteers in this study. The group scheduled a time to come into the lab and pull a lever that measured their finger strength. Then they were instructed to do finger curls for 15 minutes each day, five days per week for 12 weeks. Volunteers from the second group, they come in, they pull the lever, measure their finger strength on day one, then they're taken into another room and taught how to visualize finger curls. And they were assigned to visualize finger curls for 15 minutes a day, five days a week for 12 weeks. That one will be tough, right? Well, the third group of volunteers, they come in and measure their finger strength on day one. And then they're sent home. They're the control group and they don't know about the study. Fast forward 12 weeks and the participants come back to the lab one by one and pull the lever to measure their finger strength. Well, it turns out the group one, those who have been practicing, recorded a 53% increase in finger strength. Can you imagine walking around showing off your fat finger sausage, right? Well, the control group, they come in to pull the lever. And remember, they haven't been doing anything, so no surprise, they didn't increase their finger strength. But group two, now group two comes in, they pull the lever. This group, remember, was instructed to visualize finger curls. Well, they recorded a 35% increase in finger strength. So this and similar studies show that thinking about exercise activates the same area of the brain as real exercise. So what does this mean exactly? It means you can forget your gym pass and sell your treadmill and just think about exercise from now on, right? Okay, 
Just teasing. It really goes to show the power of the brain on our bodies. If we can improve our muscles and our bodies from thinking about it, just imagine what we can do when we experience stress. When we experience stress, we can train our brains to pause, take some breaths, and tell ourselves that our heart rate is increasing and our breathing is increasing because it's preparing our body to engage in a task. So remember, not all stress is harmful. And when we do experience stress, slow down and learn to respond rather than react. And go ahead, give that exercising a try in your mind. Now that's all for now, but please let me know what you think. Leave a comment about what you do to process stress. Give this video a like and subscribe so you don't miss any of these videos. And if you have a topic on personal well-being or family life you'd like me to tackle on a video, let me know in the comments below. That's all for now. I'm Dr. Dave, and this has been another Thrive in Five. Oh, 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 oh,